George here. Guida Ba. Hey, I'm back from my trip to the Tarahumara. Uh, this was a great trip, an exceptional crew with me, Dr. Anna, and some of my adventure racing and ultra distance triathlete friends, uh, Kathy and her husband, Eric. Hey, this is one of the best groups we've taken to the canyon. We explored some new territory in the upper ends of Batapilas Canyon, uh, wandered around for six hours, but somehow managed to make it out of there alive. Then crossed the canyon, made it up to Napuchis. We got a new building built up there, so we got some shelter. Had a very productive clinic, very receptive uh, people to our mission. Um, hey, I wish you all could join us someday on one of these. Here's some video of the trip. We're here in Barranca de Cobre, the Copper Canyon. Early in the morning, the sun is just coming up. You see it hitting the rim. We got here last night in the dark and stayed at the four-star Casa de Jorge. Had an upstairs room. Um, has a hot water tank. The other thing about it is uh, right behind it we have uh, citrus trees. This looks like grapefruit. And we also have orange trees. They're not quite ripe yet. And here we have a whole stack of beans. Eric, you want to show us out one of those beans? Show us what that looks like. This is a big mound of uh, beans they are letting dry in the sun. And this is beans for refried beans. Chopping firewood for breakfast. And up there you can see one of the orange trees. Here are some of the peppers. Good crop of peppers. Here's one of the Stop Hunger Now food boxes. And we can proudly say that we were the ones that packed it. Packed my volunteers in Lynchburg, Virginia. Okay, here we have some eggs with some ham, refried greens, and some of last night's uh, cold goat. Here is the spring which uh, feeds all our water lines. It gushes out of the side of the canyon here. And is taken by water lines down there to the village below. Got another good spring down there. Good clean source of drinking water. Up here we may have a cave, but I don't have uh, lights and equipment to see how far in it goes. Okay, we're out here at Wakaibo at the school, looking out over the canyon, getting ready for our trek of the day. This is a moving picture you can move, Eric. This is the uh, blacksmith forge for making uh, horseshoes. We use scrap metal, old truck springs. You can fabricate a lot of things down here. Loading up the pack mules for our adventure walk to a town which we think is about a four hour walk away, four hours in, four hours out. On the trail to who knows where. Some more view on this trail, which I've never been down. Headwaters of uh, the Batapilas River. Okay, it's starting to get dark. Yep. We only got, oh, kilometer, half a kilometer to get back out to the car, but it ain't pretty. Okay, we've made it back to the truck right at about dark. However, Alex went out to look for us, and uh, he's out there someplace in the dark, so we're going to hang out here for a while <laughs> and uh, stay warm around a fire. I'm shivering a little bit, but I'll get by the fire get warm. I think that shivers more just from fatigue. We did about a six hour hard hike today. Let me give you a real quick video tour of Casa de Jorge. Uh, down here in the canyon, just gorgeous views. 
This here is an avocado tree. Next to it we have an orange tree. I don't know if you can see the, uh, the oranges up there. These are pomegranate bushes here. Here's the sign on the door, Casa de Jorge. Let's step in. See, it's got a futon that folds down into a double bed. It's got a wood stove, a sink. Yes, we do have running water, gravity fed from a spring. It's got a propane stove, hook up for a propane tank. Dining room table. I don't quite know what this is. I think it's storage for uh, linens and blankets and whatever. And then the key thing here is this gorgeous bathroom. Not only do we have a toilet, but we have got a darn impressive shower stall, sink, and as you may have seen, we have a um, a uh, water-fired hot water tank so we can uh, actually take a hot shower in here. Here we have the uh, hot water heater at Casa de Jorge. And hanging meat up here to, uh, to dry and to cure, kind of like goat jerky. Just some of the day-to-day -day activity at Casa de Jorge. Okay, these are the ruins of El Poplagoche. Built in the uh, 1600s by the Spanish explorers. Now just in ruins. We are exploring an old gold mine shaft. Okay, here is a water wheel for panning for gold. Making the river crossing. Okay, looking out into oh, the canyon. How you get there. Oh. A... <laughs> no? Huh. No. Oh. I had it. Are we on top? Well, about another 500 feet of elevation gain to the real top, but it's all on a road at this oh, point. Wait, wait. There's a happy pig getting its tummy rubbed. Hello, doggy. And the pig. It's sunrise in Napuchis and we're out gathering firewood. Okay, this is video. You gotta move and do something now. <laughs> I'm scared. It's a beautiful morning. Rock climbing 101. You want me to come down or stay here? Oh, you could go up. And well, you want to, what you're doing is a little more wider. But it's there you go. Okay. Whatever feels there. good. Oh. <laughs> now, uh -huh. um, turn your feet so you're going to face the rock. Slide up a little bit. Yep. And now, um, there's a couple yeah. holes. See that? This one? Actually, I'd go that lower one. Lower. That one? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, good. On the uh huh. Um, there's a little higher foot right here. Feel it? Uh huh. And then you're gonna put that hand She's in. really good. Oh. Right there, yeah. This one? Yeah. yeah. And it, actually, that higher one might help. The higher hole if you reach it. And then pull and find your left foot. <sighs> I don't know where to place it. That one's there. That, no, put that well, one right Put, put your left foot where your right hand is. Or yeah, your right foot up. where your right hand is. Right in that little. Right yeah, yeah, perfect. perfect. 
Here's your three note. Just work your way up. Look at you go, girl! Oh, yeah! Yeah! I got this! <laughs> got this! And leave you up there. See ya! <laughs> you guys stand up. You guys <laughs> start Run. running. That's how we clean the disco with half an onion. Yep. Makes a good scouring pad. Adding the potatoes. The key here is to keep stirring it so it doesn't get too dark on one side. We put a little bit of garlic salt on those potatoes. That was, that was Eric. Oh, Eric. Okay. Uh, a few little hot dogs in the center. Then we add the uh, scrambled egg mixture. Is that plain salt or the garlic salt? No, it's garlic. It's the only thing we have. It's for everything. <laughs> is that by choice or is that just because that's just what we have? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and here we're making some salsa and some jalapenos. We got diced tomatoes, onions. Over here. I'm kind of struggling. So would you do it? Jalapenos. I would do it here. There's we just one. added the onion, tomato, and jalapeno mix. And it's looking like it's almost done. Okay. People walking up to our clinic. Is that what you say, Guida? Guida ba. Guida ba. That's. Okay, pull the rock. Up and you don't see nothing? Eric. I don't know where to look. <laughs> hey, Eric. Yeah. Can you get a picture? Uh, no. Yeah. Where? We went out looking for our pack train with our medical equipment and all the food. They're about two hours late. They had to round up a couple extra burrows to fit it all, but now we can start the food distribution in clinic. Okay. Child here with Impetigo, also in her scalp. Here's all the food for the gift food giveaway for all the families here. So I'll get a little package of tortilla mix, cooking oil, beans, pasta, soap, tomato sauce, little thing of coffee, sugar, salt. Y también la medicina que os han traído gratis. And the goats. <laughs> You're like the Pied Piper of goats. <laughs> That's funny. Look at all those goats. Are you like the animal whisper of goats?
Okay, we're back at Ramona and Antonio's. This is a, the whole enchilada. Tell me what you think, Eric. Very good.